Hi guys, so my daughter is really missing her sport. She loves her football, she loves her bouldering, her tennis, her athletics, but obviously we're in a lockdown, so we can't get all this stuff done. So I've decided to do this workout for all you kind of kids from probably like 11, 10 years um, up and upwards, like teenagers and stuff like that. Um, obviously just adapt it to your own limits. Um, so parents, just keep an eye on your kids, just making sure they're not overdoing it and stuff. And and if it looks bad, it probably is bad. So maybe just stop them from doing any movement that you feel just look a bit unsafe. But you know, pretty much kids are resilient. So, you know, just let them train on and let's see how it goes. So our first one, we're doing a warm up. So this is the warm up section here. So the first thing we're gonna do is our jumping jacks. So let's go. We're gonna go for about 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five. What we're really looking for for the kids to develop is a low con um, short contact time we want that bounce on the floor a couple more brilliant next up we're going for seal jumps which is are these and what we want again is to stretch out the shoulders keep that good upright posture and again we want nice bouncy movements that would be perfect for them good work guys keep going brilliant take a little break there next up a little bit more coordination we're going for crossovers Start off around, hands nice and high, and we cross and bring the arms up. Notice how I'm switching my feet. Still keeping that bounce. Keep going. Last few. Great work, everyone. That's a nice bounce going on there. Good. And again, take as much breath as you need with these. This time, we really want to get the nervous system going. So especially that kind of younger, kind of going up to 13 years old, we want your nervous system to be as fast as possible, which means you want to move quickly so you're gonna develop that speed and quickness in the future. So we have wide outs. This position, we're gonna come in and out. Thing is, we wanna go even faster. Ready? So, in and out here, but then let's get quicker. Come on, let's go quicker. Gotta hold my mic here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, and stop there. Great work, guys. Brilliant. So that's got the heart rate going a little bit there. Next up, we're going for a lunge balance. So I'm just gonna make my way from this side and we're gonna lunge down, come up, balance. Notice how high my knee is? Down, lunge, balance. Down, balance. And then you can keep going for a longer distance or you can just turn around like I'm doing here. So let's lunge down. Balance, down, balance, down, balance. Well done. So that just gets all your balance abilities. We want the young kids to be able to hold this position as much as possible. So next up, we're now just going for a sprint to march. This is where we practice our sprint mechanics. And we're just gonna march up and up. Keep a good posture and we wanna work that balance. This is all good preparation for sprinting. Let's go again. Notice how I pick up my toes at the front as well. If we want to avoid this, toes down. Have your toes up. I'll explain in future workouts what that is for. Well done. Next up, we're going for the running draws, so we wanna just get a little bit more movement going. First one we're gonna do is a straight leg run. Again, short ground contact time. Let's go. So just pop it through. Good posture. Just rhythmically swing the arms. We're gonna do the same on the way back. Again, you can extend the distance if you want, guys. But think about the technique, the postures and everything before we try and go too fast, too far and everything. Get the movements properly first, guys. Next up, we're gonna go for heel flicks. We're gonna really warm up the hamstrings. But again, as with all these drills, we want a really good posture. So, pop, pop. You may be able to hear my heels slapping the backside here. That means we're really getting these hamstrings, these muscles in the back of the thighs working. Let's come again. If you can go quicker, work it. Good. The quicker you move, the more explosive you're gonna be as your, as your body develops and gets stronger. 
Next up, we're going for a straight leg skip. This one's a bit more challenging on the call. Good for your teenagers, maybe the 11, 12 year olds may want to miss this one out. So what we're gonna do is skip, skip, skip. Nice straight leg. Keep that core strong. Well done. Let's turn around and go again. Skip, 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 skip. And keep this going, Buff's feet. Well done. Great work. Into the last few now. Skipping's next. So we just want to get that nice rhythmic switch of our legs in midair. So first version is this. Skip, 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 skip. Keep that posture good. Rhythmically move. And again, go for whatever distance you want to go for. And again, back. So notice I'm not trying to rush these. It's all about finding those body positions. Well done, guys. Last one we're gonna to do to really get the heart rate going. I know all you young ones are much more fit than me. So you'll be able to breeze through this one. High knee running, but get as many repetitions as we can in this distance. Ready, and go for it. Get that posture, high knees. Well done. And again, let's go. Keep popping through. Well done. And if you want to go faster, go for it. Pump the arms, the quicker legs will go. So next up, guys, two more movements. We have what's called an inchworm. This is to get the shoulders warmed up, gets your core going, gets your hamstring stretched. So again, you young'uns are going to have a much better probably flexibility than me. So just imagine I'm getting really flexible here, guys. So start in your push-up push up position. Keep that core strong. Inch your way up. Keep your legs straight, as far as you want to go. And then we're gonna walk it forward. Start in that push-up position. Let's go. Inch it up. Now this is where you're gonna get your feet further than me. And then we walk it forward again. Inch it up and walk forward. And the last one. Straight legs. Great work, well done. Have a little breather. Last exercise coming up for the warm up. Bear crawls. Now, we wanna do these properly. We wanna warm up the core, warm up the shoulders. So nothing too fast here, guys. So we are gonna keep our hips below our head, which means slow movements. And just notice my back's nice and flat. Good. When you get to as far as you want to go, backwards. Can you keep that upper body nice and steady? Last couple. Well done. Great work, everyone. Remember, if there's anything you're unsure of, miss it out. Don't take any risks, guys. Make sure your parents are watching. But well done. That's the warm-up done. We're going to have a, another section posted for you soon. Great work.